resistance and resistivity. Now let us understand more about resistance. Why do conductors show resistance? The flow of electric current through a conductor is due to the movements of electrons. Electrons in a conductor are in completely free. They are attracted by the atoms in the material, which slows down their movement. This slowing down of electrons is what we call resistance. Resistance opposes the flow of electric current. Different materials have different resistance. Here is a broken circuit. Now let us close this circuit with different types of materials and check the amount of current flow in each case with the help of an ammeter. Let us close this circuit with wire A and note down the readings in the ammeter. Now change the wire A with wire B. In case of wire B, less current is passed compared to wire A. This can be observed in the ammeter. Now replace wire B with wire C. In case of wire C, very less current is passed compared to wire B. Now replace the wire C with wire D. Now there is no electricity passed in the circuit and no readings is observed in the ammeter. So from the above experiment, we can call wire A is a good conductor. What is a good conductor? A material with low resistance and allows the electric current to flow through it easily is called a good conductor. Now wire B, we can call it as a resistor. What is a resistor? A material with some resistance but still allows the current to flow. It is called a resistor. Next wire C. And we can call wire C as a poor conductor. What is a poor conductor? A material with higher resistance allows less current to flow is called a poor conductor. And wire D is an insulator. Insulators have very high resistance which makes it extremely difficult for electricity to flow through them. Now let's see the factors on which the resistance of a conductor depends. Resistance of a conductor is dependent on the following factors. 1. Length of the conductor. The resistance of a conductor increases as the length of the conductor increases. 2. Cross-sectional area of the conductor. The resistance of a conductor decreases as the cross-sectional area increases. And the third one, nature of the material. The resistance of a conductor also depends on the type of material it is made from. So, resistance is directly proportional to the length of the conductor. That means, the length increases, the resistance also increases. Resistance is inversely proportional to the cross-sectional area of the conductor. That means the cross-section increases, the resistance decreases. The resistivity rho is used in the formula that relates the resistance R of a conductor to its length L and cross-sectional area A. R equal to rho into L by A. In this formula, R is the resistance, L is the length of the conductor, A is the cross-sectional area and rho, resistivity, shows how much the material itself opposes the flow of current. The SI unit of resistivity is ohm meter. Resistivity is unique property of each material that shows how much it resists the flow of electric current. Metals and alloys have very low resistivity, usually between 10 to the power minus 8 ohm meter to 10 to the power minus 6 ohm meter, making them good conductors of electricity. Copper and aluminium or the pure metals commonly used for electrical transmission lines because they are excellent conductors with low resistivity. Tungsten is a pure metal used for making filaments in electric bulbs because of its high melting point and durability. Alloys generally have higher resistivity than the pure metals they are made from. If alloys have more resistivity, then why are they still used in electrical devices? Alloys are resistant to oxidation at high temperatures. That means they do not burn even at high temperatures. That is why they are often used in electrical heating devices like electric ions and toasters. Insulating materials like rubber and glass have very high resistivity, ranging from 10 to the power 12 ohm meter to 10 to the power 18 ohm meter, making them poor conductors of electricity. Both the resistance and resistivity of a material can change with temperature. Thanks for watching. Please like the video.
Please share this video with your friends.